In this video I am going to explain the threading task. To do threading you need threading tools. I use two kind of tools. Self-grinded and insert tools. You need to set up the threading tool the right way. I'll show you how. Select the setup tools task. In the edit tool menu select the tool you want to edit. This one. As you can see, the tool has a nose radius of 0.11 mm. If you use self grinded tools, they have a sharp point. Then you set the nose radius to zero. This tool has a nose radius of 0.11 mm. If you don't know the nose radius, just put in a value and check if the thread fits. If it's too loose, then you have to increase the nose radius. That will result in a shallower cutting depth. You also have to set the tool width. The width of the tool is the distance between the left side and the point. I have two insert threading tools. The left one is a small, the right one is a bit larger. That means when I turn to a shoulder, the left one gets closer to the shoulder. So that's why I have more than one insert. The program compensates for the tool width you set, so that it doesn't run to the shoulder when threading. This small tool has a width of about half the maximum pitch. The maximum pitch is 1.5 mm, so 0.85 mm is a good value. Let's do threading. Select the threading task. The threading spindle sink task. Threading SS. I've already selected a tool. We are going to thread a M10 thread. If you need another type of thread you can select a lot of different preset values. Here you can see the nose radius 0.11. We are going to make a bolt but you can also make a nut. The pitch M10 is 1.5 mm. The strength normal strength is 90%. The normal diameter is 10 mm. If you need a thread that hasn't a preset, you can change the pitch and the normal diameter. As you can see, above the M10 it's at 60 degree thread. You can change the in-feed angle. The 30 degree in-feed angle gives the less torque. And the zero gives the best thread result, but it's also the heaviest arm to cut. I have a stock diameter of 12 mm, so we dial that in. You have to set the home position Z a bit farther away from the tip, because when threading starts the spindle is already rotating and the Z-axis have to first synchronize. That takes time. The faster you run, the more time it takes the longer the distance it takes to get in sync. I set the home diameter of 20. The start set position is the position where the threading starts. It's normally at the tip of the workspace. The start diameter is calculated by the program. This is the diameter you have to turn your stock to. The end position set we set it to minus 
10. And then we have the start cut. There are two different ways you can cut threads. You can select your cutting desk the normal way or you use a constant volume cut. In a constant volume cut the start cut defines all other cuts. Every cut the cutting depth is adjusted so it takes away the same volume of material. That gives approximately always the same cutting force on your part. You can't set the cutting depth too high if you have very thin axis. You set it to 0.35 millimeters and as you can see when constant volume cut is on it takes 12 cuts. That means it takes 12 cuts and the last cuts it will use the settings from the set next list. As you can see this one is at 25% feed rate. That's not good so we have to change that. That should be 100. I do three cleanup passes. Reset total cut. Place the part. I use these kind of tools to set the stock length. This one is 18 millimeters. Select the setup task. Set your stock length to 18 millimeters. And press the select previous task button. When all is set you can press the set dependence task button. This will set all other tasks you need to finish the job. We start by facing, then we do a turning, a parting and finally we do the threading task. Press the set depending task settings button. And you see the three dashes signaling that the other tasks are set up. Select the facing task. I want to use this tool to do the facing. As you can see the start diameter, start position and end diameter is already set. The home set is not set by the threading SS task. Place the tool. Press go home. Start the spindle and do a cup of point two millimeters. Press for beef. A 
it looks okay so we first finish we press the totalize button so the start position is adjusted the stop lag now is reduced to 17.4 millimeters we select the turning task I don't want I want this too it will turn 0.35 it takes four cut reset auto cut and press auto cut Then we go on to jump for the font. We go and change the tool. Chamfer settings are set up. Reset total cut and press auto cut. It is red. No problem. The last we can cut a, I call it a neck, by doing a parting job. So we select the parting task. I need a 1.2 millimeter parting tool. It's a grooving tool, this one. Press reset. And then press auto cut. Then we select the threading SS task. I want this too. We press the go home. We need some lubrication. I 
I do threading at 300 RPM. And when I press auto cut, it should do a good job. I reduce the speed a bit. If you want, you can change the start cut of constant volume cut. When I change it to 0 0.1. All next cuts are adjusted. Let's change it back. The last clean up pass should make very small chips. Not really. Let's check the thread. Press the park button. No. The fit is okay. Thank you for watching.